Right then, folks, uh, just been sorting out a few Airfix boxed, brown box and Target boxes today to put up on adverts on my pages, and I've put a couple on eBay. Don't really like doing eBay, but it's extra sales and get a bigger audience. But um, the reason I'm doing this one tonight is military books for references. Uh, I've got quite a lot, and as you can see, in the yellow and black crates, the old Wix's crates. I've got quite a few more books in there uh, since I moved. I've been digging them out of these boxes and I will be putting all the rest of my books and DVDs over here. Some of them I will be selling because I've got duplicates. Uh, but just to let you know that when I do the old uh, Brit Fix figures, do little scenarios and when I paint models up, obviously, Got two soldier books. I've uh, got historical magazines and books. Heraldry, because uh, I do like my Britain's Knights. I, I have a few thousand of those. All the variations that are out there. And I do look knights and castles. I did have a massive collection of castles at one point. And uh, I like to do check in. Uh, these are original Humbrol Napoleonic uniforms cards, which I have later found out were slightly inaccurate. <laughs> uh, I didn't find that out. Um, someone else on a Facebook page uh, told me about it. Got quite a few of those. Keep hold of those because they are pretty good for references on uniforms and the like. But... Like I said, some of them apparently are inaccurate. Then obviously, picked up little books at charity shops and bookshops and stuff like that. Then you get things like this, which are really nice, based on cigarette cards, I believe. Don't know which ones. Uh, looking at this. Oh, it's John Player. John Player cigarettes, by the way looks of it that's a nice little book Might to keep in the collection military modeling book i think i've had this one since i was about 17 or 18. excellent book some great models in here some great pictures some good techniques obviously techniques have progressed with uh different glues oh another her heraldry heraldry book and the Toy Soldier book. I assume a lot of you have got these. Uh, Wargaming. I've never really done much Wargaming. Uh, more my son's thing. He's now 28 and works at Games Workshop. Does a lot of painting and figures. And he, uh, he does a hell of a lot of Wargaming. Had a few battles with him, but... Don't really do it myself. I buy it more for the inspiration and reading up about it, really. Another military modelling book. Another toy soldier book. Like I said, a lot of you might have some of these. There's one for weddings, uh, Battle of Waterloo, and obviously the Napoleonic Wars. And I just use it for reference pictures, really, when I'm doing uh, my models and figures, try to get things accurate. Obviously, not always with my models, but do the wars. One for the Scottish regiments. There's a good bit of references for models and dioramas that I do. Daily life in the age of chivalry. Long past, I'm afraid. Long past. Anyway, I'll just move these. These books, I've got some more of these. These were, I believe, Time Life magazine books. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, Time Life. I don't know if you can see that properly. Well, I've got a few of these and there's a few more to find because I've got the one about the uh, Native American Indians. Obviously, this one is about soldiers of uh, the Americas, North America. That's the Railroads version book. That's the one. All leather bound by the looks of it. Cowboys, 
I think this one's the gunfighters. Yeah, gunfighters. Like I said, I've got a few more of these. I think there was six or seven, possibly eight in the collection. And these were for my late father. He used to, he had these and I inherited them when he passed away. But uh, great books. I don't know how historically correct these are now. But I'm sure uh, they've got a lot of interesting information in them. Some great reference pictures. If nothing else. Oh, very nice picture there. But yeah, they're, they're great books there. I really enjoyed looking at those. And uh, I think this is Uniforms of Waterloo. Bit battered up, found in a charity shop, I presume. Can't remember exactly. And it, I think there's a picture with a write-up on all of it. But it goes for all the uniforms. I think they're a bit more accurate than uh, the humble cards I've got. The One Inch Army, I think I got this from Carl James in Wales when I bought quite a few figures off him. And it goes through various different makers and manufacturers. Just quickly look at that. Yeah, it goes through various makers and manufacturers of, uh, obviously, One Inch figures. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I like to uh, go through that. Oh, a couple of uh, copies of flyers from newspapers. I've had quite a few of these over the years. Sold a few on. Uh, we once owned a CAF, I think, where the 101st Airborne took off from D-Day. And we had loads of posters and pictures from that. And that was based in Lambourne Woodlands. Lambourne Woodlands. In uh, near Hungerford, uh, got quite a bit of history about that, and these are just, I think, believe, uh, copies or reproductions of papers, newspapers from the time. Nice little airfix book, World of War Gaming. Some great information there. Obviously, it shows pictures of. Uh, Figures and tanks and everything. Oh, oh, this is a little rarity. Cardboard Knight's Castle. Card model. I think it was somebody that I trade with and buy, and we buy and sell to each other. We did an exchange on those. These were for my collection. Obviously, got mixed up with the books up on the shelves. Great war stories. Obviously the obvious at the top. Dan Busters, Cold It Story. Just a book about soldiers. Then obviously I, I've got other items, other books. It's a journal. From the Napoleonic Wars. And some other various books. Tempo A to Z, a Tempo. I have got the latest, well, not the latest edition, the edition after this. I haven't got the latest edition, but we'll be getting it. Obviously, great reference material for book, for models and figures. Yeah, so that's just a few of the books and everything that I've shown you. And thank you for looking. Thank you very much.